So it is really getting out of hands. What we're learning right now is that the cops did get involved. Yeah, the, the Popo, the Babylon. Yes, yes, sir. So they ended up getting involved in this situation. And the new stuff that is coming out, this is a cluster F of a situation, right? Doc himself has admitted to speaking with a minor inappropriately. So you cannot defend him. Indefensible. There, there's no excuse for that, right? So he has uh, admitted to the allegations. But... People are still defending him and what just came out now, like the video if you just want to know the truth. Some people are like, if we see the DMs, maybe we're going to find out that it wasn't that bad. That's the word of people right now. And you want to know why? Even a lawyer got involved. Oh, this is how big the situation has been. And check this. So this just came out. Twitch reportedly had to alert authorities over severity of Dr. Disrespect's DMs to a minor. And apparently we're getting this clip here. Uh, apparently they have, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna play this clip first of all, roll it. So Dr. Disrespect, uh, he's now been demonetized by YouTube. So officially, and this is from IGN, and, and, and look, I, I don't like IGN's coverage in general, but this is just a statement of the facts, so uh, I'm just gonna go through the factual part. YouTube suspends monetization on Dr. Disrespect's channel following serious allegations. YouTube has officially suspended monetization Crazy on the channel of Guy Bomb, aka the popular streamer known as Dr. Disrespect, among continuing reports surrounding his 2020 ban from Twitch and his alleged yeah. sexually explicit messages to a minor. We have suspended Dr. Disrespect's channel from the YouTube Partner Program following yeah. serious Crazy. allegations against the creator, a YouTube spokesman said in a statement to IGN. This action means the channel is no longer able to monetize on YouTube. YouTube added it took action for violating our creator responsibility policy. The policy states that a creator's off-platform behavior Arms our users, employees, ecosystem. We may take action to protect our community, including suspending monetization. By the way, this yeah. little clause here, this this creator responsibility clause, that is used to deplatform many, 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 mm. many, many people because they're not yep. actually they're they're not actually having to prove anything. They're just saying, oh yep. well, you know, your character, your behavior is not what. We yeah, do. if they don't like you, then it's over. It's just their way to protect themselves uh, and their way to just uh, kick you out. And they don't want to be able to explain it because uh, yeah, what happens is that you kick a, a, a YouTuber out, let's just say from a monetization program. And if they know the laws and if they have the money, the resources, they're probably gonna want to you know file a lawsuit. I mean, we're talking about America; you can get sued for literally farting in the wrong direction, right? So they put this in their favor. So if somebody tries to sue us, well, hey, read this, bro. Read this. We don't like you, right? We put it there. We don't like you. We want to kick you out. We're gonna kick you out. But it's insane that even his, yeah, I've been giving this as, as an example a million times already, but it, it truly is baffling and it truly is insane. The studio, the gaming studio that he himself started, without him, Midnight Society would not exist, right? Without him, his game Dead Rock would not exist. He starts it and gets fired from his own company. It has been this bad, but wait for it, there's more. But we do have some other allegations I want to point out, and these allegations are much spicier. Um, so apparently, now this this tweet has been deleted, but apparently, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Dr. Disrespect, according to one Lena Love, this is, I had to go to TikTok to find this shit, but what the according hell? to Lena Love, who is, uh, oh yeah, this one, yeah, I, I covered that in a video, but it's deleted? Uh oh. Let's just read her, her message. Now this has been deleted, but this was up at one point. During that time in 2017, when he was cheating on his wife with not only me, a trans sex worker. Ah, yeah, don't, also, don't say these words on YouTube, bro. Don't say these words on YouTube, dog. So another woman and texting a minor. He was exploiting me by making me give him cam shows with the promise of partnership. After the cam shows, he went ahead and blocked me. So this is a, a individual right who is claiming that they were being milked uh for free cam shows yeah. and they, they do show a couple other dm guys control your dragon man control your bbc's bwc's lbc's lwc bro. like control your dragons man your d can lead you to dangerous places like well we're seeing what's going on with dog bro yeah his d led to a, a dangerous path yeah bro you need to control it but wait for it wait for Evans, it you know uh talking about uh, you know, should I hold it or let it go, right? You know, uh, you know, mm, yummy. Should I let it go or hold it? Let it go. Spray it out. Spray it out. That is the language from the DM. Now, whether that is true, whether this is manufactured, whether this is bullshit, you know, why was it deleted? It could have been deleted because it was completely manufactured because there's an, who knows? Who knows? Right? 
Uh, and just so you know who this person is, let me give you more of an up close and personal. This is the individual. This is their their Instagram. Uh, once again, this person has described themselves as a trans sex worker. Uh, oh yeah, so yeah, this yeah, 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 oh, 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 hey, 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 time out, time out, bro. Tranquilo, tranquilo, papi, tranquilo, papi chulo, tranquilo. Man, he a real lawyer, right? He pulls up everything. He, man, I I cannot even, not even in my wildest dreams, I would try and put like a blur photo like that. God damn. Man, he's saying these words like it's nobody's business though. Yeah, I, I mean, he's a lawyer, so I guess he knows, uh, right? B but still, dog, come on, man, <laughs> come on, man. This is the, uh, this is the person right here that uh, apparently um, there was being some, there was some squeezing it out. There was some squeezing it out happening, uh, happening to this uh, one Alina Love, Alina Love, bro. Uh, very oh, oh, uh, interesting oh, allegations oh, there crap. Uh, from Dr. Disrespect, whether or not he responds to Yeah, and, and now this happened. Yeah, this happened. So apparently Twitch did report Dr. Disrespect to the, the, the poll poll. In a recent stream, Destiny Dan and Slasher talked about new information on Dr. Disrespect that Slasher has obtained and states that Twitch has reported Dr. Disrespect to the National Center for Missing and Exploiting Children. Here's a clip. Damn. Twitch, Damn. and I have reported that Twitch did report this to the National Center of uh, Missing and Exploited Children. Why you not? Have, you have that on record? Yes. Why not request? That's a big deal. Why? Uh, okay, is this like uh, this uh, record? Is that to do with Doctor Disrespect? Because I cannot see that anywhere. Because uh, I'm seeing some people actually bring this up, and it's true. Uh, it makes yeah, totally understandable. Didn't Slasher also say that Doc was arrested and then later reneged? Uh, I I I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not. Bruh. The comment as it wasn't true. I'm not sticking up for Doc. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, listen, you cannot defend Doc, but that's a genuine question. Because Slasher is not the greatest source, and Slasher is that guy that did uh, claim to have known the information, but he never let anybody uh, uh, let anybody know till that Cody guy, the ex Twitch guy, came forward and leaked the fact or said that Doctor Disrespect was uh, sexting minors, right? And later on, Doc admitted to the allegations that he was, uh, uh, in the words of Doctor Disrespect, he was speaking with minors and he shouldn't have. Uh, and sometimes uh, the conversation would uh, go inappropriately. Uh, so that's what Doc admitted to. And uh, you guys gotta also understand that, right? Like Doc is gonna try his very best to put his best foot forward. What I mean by this is that uh, he's gonna make sure that the situation, uh, like his side of the story, doesn't sound too bad. And the opposite is also true. So Cody, uh, the, 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 the guys uh, that have revealed this information, oh, the reason they revealed it is because they don't like him. Uh, and uh, Doc is also guilty, first of all. Let me just be very, very blunt and clear with you guys here. And, and they're going to try their very best to make the situation sound even worse than it is. So the truth is in the middle is what I'm trying to say, okay? Doc's side is not 100% truth. Uh, the, the, the people that brought this up not 100% true either. The truth lies somewhere in the middle. It's it's confirmed now because Doc has admitted he was talking to the minor inappropriately. That part is true. Now, what else is true, right? A a apparently, if we want to believe this, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, right? It's being reported everywhere right now that the authorities were involved. And what they are finding out right now is that they did let Doc go because they didn't find enough evidence that supported that he did anything bad. And you know what? Some people are running with it and saying that Dr. Disrespect, because of it, I I is innocent. But, uh, but other people are saying that, okay, so this confirms it that, okay, may, may, although this might, what he's done is not illegal, but I'm, I'm a dad of this many kids and this doesn't sound right. Like, and I see both sides. Genuinely, I do see both sides here. But, but what Doc has admitted to, guys, come on now, indefensible, indefensible, right? But this is what Call of Shame put out, right? So confirm, Dr. Dis and there's more, uh, but wait, there's more, wait for it. Confirmed, Dr. Disrespect was reported by Twitch to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children when they were illegally recording whispers by the doc, uh, by Dr. Disrespect back in 2017. A full investigation was authorized and no wrongdoing was found and no illegal activity took place by Dr. Disrespect. No arrests were made and no charges were filed, okay? Thus, adding more weight 
that Dr. Disrespect is innocent as this is indeed looking like a witch hunt by ex-Twitch employees to frame Dr. Disrespect. Oh, absolutely, we talked about it. Yeah, the, uh, the, the those Twitch guys, the Wokies at Twitch, they don't like Doc. But guys, it is also true that Dr. Disrespect is guilty. So you cannot blame other people uh, for the behavior of Dr. Disrespect. We gotta be fair here. We gotta be rational here. So, but it is also true that they don't like him. And this is why they came on after what, like, uh, let's just say four years. Although in general, seven years, right? Uh, this is the unconfirmed part, okay? So everything here, guys, uh, it's not true because a lot of people are running with the with the idea that the minor in the question was 17-year-old. Not true. We don't know about the age or anything like that, okay? So, uh, yeah, check this. So it is also reported that the minor was actually a former Twitch employee pretending, pretending to be a 17-year-old girl and trying to bait Dr. Disrespect. But you know what? If this is true, basically unconfirmed, but if this is true, Doc at the time really thought that it was a minor and he still proceeded, so it doesn't look good on Doc uh, either. But to do this is also equally insane. Like, they try to bait him. Like, what, what the actual hell? Right? Like, what the hell? But I, I guess, like, uh, people that, uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't watch, like, videos like that, but generally speaking, the, the people that, uh, what was this called, try to bait and, and go after, for example, the case of EDP, right? They were pretending to be a miner so they could catch predators. Totally makes sense. So their job is to catch predators. And this is the way they go about their business. And this is the way they try to go uh, and catch. I guess makes sense. Totally makes sense. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but this is the unconfirmed part, okay? And trying to bait Dr. Disrespect with entrap uh, entrapment uh, techniques while the ex-Twitch mods illegally recorded it all. So this is why there was a lawsuit. This is why Doc also won because they were not allowed to go inside the Twitch whispers, the messages, and do all of that right and uh, yeah yeah so there was that and also people are bringing up because they signed a contract and ended prematurely so doc was like okay i need the money bro like you signed the, the, the you signed it and now fulfill the contract could be that too but this, we're in the speculation category and i want to make it very clear because we're not talking gaming rumors here we're talking about somebody's life here right they were all fired soon after and sued by dr disrespect's legal team they are very bitter over this and why this whole thing is coming out for the second time after it has already been dealt with. This is where we are at right now. And roll this. Why that not a big deal? Why not request that they have released information? Or why not request that law enforcement through this entire time, which then very likely at the behest of MCM MEC to do something, have say something? Hold on. That, that this is, is, this is We're about to make a clip for livestream fail, Slasher, okay? Bruh. What you're telling me, okay, is that what Doc did, okay, rose to the level that for a fact, Twitch was forced to make a report oh. to the National Center for Missing and Exploiting oh. Children. BSEA and CSAM report. What I'm asking is that Twitch did make that report to the National Center for Missing and Exploiting Children. Yes, all of them go there. Yes. Okay, and they did that. The fact that Twitch reported one of their biggest profit generators to NCMEC tells you one thing. If Slash's claim is true, the whispers must have been pretty damn bad. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's such a messy situation for Twitch. Because if this was the case and there was solid reason for them to report him, then why was the settlement ever made? People can argue Twitch wanted to think about their image, but eventually all of this comes out. And I literally do not give a f about Dr. Disrespect that guy but i don't think twitch should be coming out unscathed in all of this keeps getting worse and worse. yeah there are multiple sides to this one so you heard the side of hey the, the he was probably innocent they were baiting him and then you have the other side where they did report him to authorities maybe and because it must have been very very severe but also the unconfirmed part area here is that they were trying to bait him but here's the thing though that's how they catch predators right so maybe they attempted to do that the dog uh, in 
this matter as well. I, I don't know, man. Listen, I'm I'm finding this out just like you guys, and I'm trying to be unbiased on the situation and cover both sides and cover multiple perspectives because it's complicated. We're not talking about gaming leaks. We're not talking about like GTA 8 leaks or anything like that, where you know you can be wrong about the leaks and then it's like it's whatever, right? Like gaming leaks are one thing, but somebody's life is uh, completely different. But already his reputation is is uh, down the drain right now even if he's proven innocent like i, I guess you you guys understand that it's uh, it's gonna be a miracle to come back from this one right now it, it is insane it is insane worse this whole thing is insane especially the defense of this guy despite his story changing and getting worse and worse it can't be overstated how truly disgusting the amount of defense for this guy that's going on twitch doesn't just ban people for no reason there's been people who have shown nudity on stream had s on stream and only yeah. got a few day ban. Yeah. Twitch does not. Uh, I remember a queen got uh, got uh, her cheeks clapped live on stream, right? Uh, and she was banned for like what a weekend, and then the queen was back on Monday. Yeah, that that that's a fact. We saw that even I remember covering that part in a gaming news because Twitch is a gaming platform. It's a gaming platform. I uh, yeah, right, gaming platform. My ass. Not perma ban <laughs> people often, especially not the face of their platform while they had a contract worth millions that would have been very lucrative for both parties. By his own admission, he inappropriately messaged and he has never said he didn't know they were a which would obviously be his best defense. And if that yeah. was the case, he'd be saying it over and over again. No matter yeah, yeah, how yeah. you want to spin it, messaging a inappropriately is objectively wrong trying to defend yeah. this person or rationalize it or downplay it simply because you like watching them play video games is just pure insanity can we not all agree inappropriately messaging a m is bad yeah. are we all so yeah. divided yeah. that we can't even agree on that well, yeah, yeah we're, we're living in crazy times we're living in crazy times L listen man I, I i hope that he was innocent i hope that tomorrow some miracle happens and we find out that he's innocent oh yeah like i don't want to see that crap like what are we talking what are we talking about bro like i don't want to see lives being ruined uh of people for for crap like that oh absolutely you crazy like i don't want to see doc's life being ruined like that i don't want to see the miner's life being ruined i don't want to see like uh anybody's uh uh family lives being ruined because of it or anything like that i don't want to see that crap i don't want to see that crap it's, it's sick uh so yeah but but right now you, you cannot defend doc uh, after he admitted to that but I, I i don't know man i don't know i don't know thoughts on the new information being released by slasher and twitch reporting dr disrespect comment below in other recent news, Slasher went on to Hassan's stream to give info claiming that Dr. Disrespect got arrested after Slasher yeah. received DMs, but Hassan didn't want to run with it. The next yeah, door screenshot the, about uh, Doc being arrested is fake. It's a fake screenshot. I didn't even show the next door screenshot. But I don't, like I said, that that is like unconfirmed anyway. I would not run with that. Anyway, all right. Uh, oh, wow. Crazy. Wow. Crazy. <laughs> Some actual journalistic integrity from Hassan. That's the first time I've ever seen Yo, I'm surprised. Oh my god. So Hassan, for the first time ever, he's like trying to be rational. Okay. I mean, credit where it's due. You know, credit where it's due. I mean, finally, finally, Hassan, finally, the two IQ, uh, the, 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 the two brain cells, finally, they, they did connect, though. They did connect. I've seen that, I think. Wowee. Rod, do you have any other questions about the debate? Now that we're. Um... Thank you for meeting okay. everyone. Please go click and give me traffic if you have not. Okay. Anyway. Hassan talks about friendship. I think a lot of people personally think friendship means that you're supposed to unconditionally defend one another no matter what. No, your friends are supposed to check you. And, and uh, you know, a person in your corner that has your best interest in, in heart is... It's true. I agree with this part, right? But it's ironic coming from Hassan that that's the that's the only uh part that where i'm like okay bruh going to tell you when you're saying something wrong when you're saying some wrong sh that is also going to be obviously perceived by uh, the broadest majority of the population as like reactionary sentiment you can look to the the entire landscape and go well there's more people out there that are saying i'm right but like ultimately clearly there is a standard I don't know. I just, uh, I feel like a lot of people, a lot of people just basically think like, nah, you know, friendship means like you have to unconditionally defend one another across the board and just nah, like nah, be a nah. sycophant. That's not a friend. That's a sycophant, you know?
That's not a friend, that's a fan. I don't think he understands what he is saying sometimes. Like, yes, you call out your friends, but only to their faces, not to the whole world. That is not a friend move, just using them yeah. for clout. He I, I can see that point too. Yeah, in a lot of scenarios, for example, if your friend did something really bad, I mean, bro, like, you don't want to you don't announce it to the world, <laughs> right? At that point, like, your friend will feel some way about it. I, I, I'm... I'm pretty sure Dr. Disrespect feels some way about, uh, 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 like, uh, not defending Doc, not defending Doc, first of all, like, he admitted to it, but I'm, I'm sure, like, he's seeing all of the, the sponsors drop in him, him being demonetized on YouTube, plus Nick Merrick's, uh, Tim the Tatman, the closest friends that he had, talk, uh, about, about this, yeah, he must have feel some way about it, absolutely, but I'm talking, like, generally speaking, right, like, if your friend did something, you're not gonna make a YouTube video about it, right, like, if my friend did something that I didn't like, that I feel like it's gonna hurt him, and I genuinely don't want him to hurt himself, I genuinely, uh, want, genuinely want him to not go in the bad route, I will not make a YouTube video and, you know, <laughs> talk about it on YouTube and uh, try to pick him apart. No, bro, like, I'll try to pick him apart at, at his face, you know? Me and him only. No other person around. So we can communicate and, uh, you know, vice versa and all that. Yeah, 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 but, the, the, but this situation is different because Nick Merck's public pers uh, he's a public guy, public persona, or what? what's the word? What's the word? There's another term for it that is not coming up, but you know what I mean, right? Like, he's uh, in the public, so uh, people are asking him, and he's the closest guy, and this situation is really, really big. It's not like Doc just uh, was caught stealing some, some Twinkies, right? Like, uh, oh man, he actually admitted to some serious stuff, so... And he played with Nick Marks, so Nick Marks and Tim the Tatman, they definitely want to clear their name because a lot of people are actually going after Nick Marks and Tim the Tatman as well. Oh, so you don't think they're going to try and clear their name? They are going to try and clear their name publicly. A absolutely. Because they're public figures, that was the word that I was looking for. He is right, but hasn't practiced that in a lot of situations. Why let Frogan go after Ludwig? This is a situation he should have reeled her in. If Lud was a vindictive person, he could have destroyed her. Why cry to Ludwig to delete video when it was pretty much checking on a friend as well. Just another piece of hypocrisy by Hassan. Don't take the terminally online rhetoric into the real world. You will probably not successfully get the outcome you want. I I'm not familiar with the Ludwig or the other person drama, so I, I don't know, but because no one wants to hang out with you if you're annoying. You can make a difference, but lower the bar. Have lower goals. Avoid friction. The important thing is the outcome, not the process. Don't waste energy and relations by using a process that doesn't have a desirable outcome. Man, what we have learned is that after this situation, everybody has become a philosopher. Guys, check out this video on the screen because right now there's a debate happening that Dr. Disrespect is actually innocent. Yeah, there's happening and there's some stuff coming out. I'm not sure if you guys were able to catch this video or not. Is he really not guilty? Check it out. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.